All right, guys, so it's roughly about 2.30 in the morning in lockdown Los Angeles, as is the rest of the world. Uh, guys, if you can tell, my jaw is a little swollen, had some dental work done, so uh, waiting to uh, get this swollenness down. So if you see the odd look in my face, that's exactly what it is. So I apologize for that. Uh, but guys, we're going to get into this episode eight. Uh, this is, uh, again, a part of the Ahsoka walkabout uh, arc here. Um, I, I'm really enjoying the arc. I know uh, there are a few fans who are not enjoying this arc, but I, I'm enjoying this because it shows a lot of growth between Ahsoka and uh, her learning about uh, what outsiders think of the Jedi. And yeah. as we saw in the last episode, the most significant information that we got out of that episode was the story that Rafa and Trace told Ahsoka about her what happened with her parents involving an incident uh, that uh, is connected to one of the episodes in this series, which was really, really good. Stuff. So through that, Ahsoka kind of understands why some would have negative feelings towards the uh, Jedi. So uh, to me, this explains a lot about who, so uh, who Ahsoka is going to become uh, later on in the uh, Rebel series. If you guys haven't seen that, you want to check that out. So guys, we're going to uh, get into this episode eight. Uh, it is together again. Uh, again, the this is the uh, finale of the Ahsoka arc. So we're going to see where all of this goes with Ahsoka and Trace. So guys, let's go ahead and check this out. You can change who you are, but you cannot run from yourself. I look out for you. She's your friend today, but what about tomorrow and the next day? What about uh. then? I want to cut a deal with you. Alone. What? You would betray your friends. Trust me. They're not my friends. Where is my spice? They hid the spice off world. I don't know where. Send them to go get it and give them one rotation. If they don't come back, I'll tell you where their family's from. That should motivate them. Ahsoka, why would you say that? Because she's a snake, just like I warned you. And what do you get out of all of this? Just my percentage. A small price to pay for a rather large spice shipment once it's returned to you. Very well. Very good, Ahsoka. You have one rotation to bring back my spice. Very slick by Ahsoka to use the family. I won't forget this. I know, but I don't have much of a choice. I must regain that spice. My life depends on it as much mm, as it is. Interesting. You think he will find out yes, about this? Yes, he will. <clears throat> he knows. Darth Maul. He always, he always knows. knows. Darth Maul, baby. <laughs> That's who they talking about. We know that, baby. <laughs> Okay, so we have our Mandalorians again. Uh, we know it's Bo-Katan, and we also know that it's Sabine's mother. Uh, I didn't catch that in the last episode, but Sabine's mother is one of the uh, three. That's right, Ahsoka. She's going to do it on her own. So we're stealing spies from the Pikes to trade it back for Ahsoka? Yes, exactly. Now, this is crazy. I didn't think they, she was going to do this. This is Transport 1519 coming in for a spice pickup. Ooh, Ahsoka. Whoa, she's about to take him out. I thought she was just going to get out of there. I assure you, this delay does not change things. Uh-oh. Look at that. Look at that. Missile in this mechanism which I have designed, and yet when you falter, it jeopardizes everything. Do you understand? I understand. The Republic is cracking down on my operations. Just a week ago, they raided one of my shipments arriving on Coruscant. Were there Jedi? I don't know. None of my men made it out. 
Sí. Senses, he's going to sense Ahsoka. He's going to sense her. I have things to attend to other than your incompetence. Make sure there are no more delays. And if there are, I am certain Crimson Dawn would love the opportunity to take control of your operation. Bam. Yeah, she's taking out their whole operation. Transmission log. Let's find out where you are. Mandalore. What's Maldon in there? Come on, it's okay. I knew you were no petty smuggler. Who are you? That's right, baby. So good. My sulky baby. Damn. Damn. A Jedi. Are your friends Jedi as well? No, just me. They have no idea. Well then, the Jedi Council will regret sending you here. Mm, damn. They made us think she was gonna get up out of there. And she did. Ah. Oh Lord, she set those bombs off though. Behind you. All right. Oh. <laughs> you don't have authorization to be here. I'm shutting you down. Authorization. You're not going anywhere. Hey, what do you know? I got your manifest right. Here. Oh shoot. <laughs> yes, kill her. <laughs> Come on, help your sister, man. You know your sister can't fight? You gotta help her. God darn it. Ugh. Ugh. What is Trace? Why isn't Trace helping Rafa? She needs your help. She is not gonna get away from this. No. Oh, Rafa. Shoot. Good, good. She has some spice. Oh, that was nice. Woo! Speaking of perfect timing, stop what you're doing. Look, you don't have to execute her. We brought your spice back. Ah, foolish. We know you are both working for the Republic and this mm. Jedi. Jedi? Her? A Jedi? Come on. Why didn't you tell me? How could I? After what you told me about your parents. Wait. So you're actually a Jedi? Was a Jedi. So you're not a Jedi. I was trained, but I left. You, you can, can do, do that? that? Prepare to execute them all. Look, now is really not the time to explain all this. Yeah, you know when the time was? When we were in prison. You should have told me. Soaking. Come on. Got all the way to the ship fast. So we're going to see Maul dealing with these dudes. I'm sorry I couldn't tell you before, Trace. And Ahsoka obviously well, Jedi, will revealed herself. Yes. Then shoot something. I like the music. Da, 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 Keep it tight. Mm. We've lost the rear deflector shield and the gun. Hang on. Oh, Rafa's got to prove her worth. What are you doing? We might have lost the rear deflectors, but we still have the flight. Uh, this is a good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Ahsoka on this one. Play 
chicken with him. Glad we could help. Oh, the man that was a following. The Coruscant. Okay, because I thought she spoke to Bo Katan on Coruscant, so they made it back to Coruscant without the Mandalorian's help. Isn't this sweet? Oh, uh, look. Making friends? Trace and Rafa, back away. So you remember me? Bo Katan! Don't worry. Death Watch is gone. And now. You and I have a common enemy. Maul. I need your help. Once we are underway, I will explain everything. You have five minutes to decide. But let me keep my bike here. Just in case. Mm -hmm. They have her bike. They kept her bike. Really so, good episode right there. Um, I enjoyed it. I think, um, unfortunately, my, my first assessment is I think a lot of fans are not going to be fully satisfied with that particular arc right there, other than the fact that we got a lot of Maul uh, in that particular episode, which is interesting. And, of course, I'll cover that uh, a little bit later here in my review. Um, but to uh, just quickly, briefly recap the story here... Um, Obviously, the girls found themselves in the same predicament that they did in the beginning of the last episode, uh, being trapped in jail. However, we uh, begin with a little uh, bickering going back and forth, a lot of blaming uh, going around for each one of them, uh, mostly towards Ahsoka uh, being this new entity that's entered their lives and now is kind of trying to separate the sisters uh, in Rafa's view. So uh, Rafa confronts her sister, Trace, in regards to why are you allowing Ahsoka to uh, break us up? And uh, uh, Trace tries to explain, no, it's not that I'm trying to um, go against you. It's just that I, I kind of agree with Ahsoka in this, in this uh, matter. And then um, Rafa brings up something really, really interesting. And I think this is what, I think this is why Ahsoka came to the conclusion that she did, where she obviously... Um, decides that she's going to take on the full burden of trying to escape from the pikes and give trace and rafa an, an out but uh rafa says w um yeah she's your friend now today but what about tomorrow and the next day and the next day after that and so, it, even so uh, ahsoka realizes well yeah i am friends with this girls and uh, with with these girls and i'll do anything to protect them but i can't always be there for them like two sisters would be be there for each other rafa just basically uh, pointed out the the blatant truth uh, about the situation and that's why Ahsoka decided to take on the burden of uh, escaping from the pikes on her own so uh, she uh, comes up with this plan not telling the girls uh, exactly what her plan is uh, but her plan is to take on the burden of uh, dealing with the pikes on her own and um, allowing the girls to to leave free by promising to bring back the spice obviously they couldn't do that because they they dumped the spice uh, the girls take off find their ship and then they decide to hatch a plan to steal more spice um, and take it back to the Pikes to get Ahsoka back. So while all the while all of this is going on, Ahsoka escapes from her uh, jail cell and she plants uh, bombs uh, throughout the uh, Pike facility. Uh, while this is going on, the Mandalorians are on the outside, uh, basically watching what's going on, um, you know, keeping an eye on 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 things, and. So as Ahsoka is doing all of this and we get some very exciting uh, action with Ahsoka fighting, fighting the Pikes, we even think at one point she's going to get away, um, but she's recaptured again. Uh, after she is uh, recaptured, um, the girls actually do get the Spice with some clever uh, lying, I guess, and, uh, a, a, and, and a, a bit of a good physical action uh, there. And uh, they, they're able to bring Spice back to uh, the Pikes. However, uh, once they get there, it's already been revealed to the Pikes that Ahsoka is a Jedi. And uh, th then uh, they reveal that to the girls. And then, of course, the girls are shocked and surprised that Ahsoka is, is a Jedi. But what they um, realize with Ahsoka being a Jedi, she sacrificed herself for them. And that is what their vision of Jedi do. They, they help people. They sacrifice themselves 
for people. And that's what Ahsoka did in this uh, episode. She sacrificed herself uh, for those girls. And she was, um, I don't know if she would have got executed right there uh, at that moment. I, I, I want to believe she would have been able to escape on her own if Rafa and um, Tra uh, Trace didn't show back up. Um, but um, it just shows that they, they felt, um, well, maybe in Rafa's case, but Rafa didn't want to have to owe her one. Um, but they felt obligated to go back and honor what ah Ahsoka did for them. And that's why they did what they did. Uh, perhaps that's probably going to get them, um, in even more trouble as well. And I'll that later on in my, uh, review of this episode as well. So, uh, uh, as this, uh, as they're getting ready to be executed, um, the bombs go off, kind of disrupting everything. Uh, one of the guards takes a shot. Ahsoka okay. positions herself to take the, sh uh, take the shot. Uh, and the cuffs, the cuffs release her hand, and uh, now she's able to um, force push some guys away and allow the girls to escape. One quick uh, note uh, about that, there's always been some controversy whether um, you can use the force with your hands or is it something that you can just simply do with your, your mind. Uh, there's uh, in Empire Strikes Back, when Vader is fighting Luke, um, he is still holding his saber and he puts his saber down and he is still uh, using the force to throw things at uh luke skywalker um here uh, and and consistently actually throughout the clone wars uh whenever a jedi had their hands uh bound um they did not have the ability to use the force and move stuff around and do you know force push and do the things that they do uh here ahsoka is unable to use the force apparently uh unless uh her hands are free uh, once her hands were free, she was able to use the force and allow the girls to get away. So I just wanted to mention that. I thought that was really, really interesting. There is a explanation, I believe, for that. And uh, I, my explanation is basically that Vader obviously was very strong with the force. And, and he actually lost uh, a lot of his limbs. Um, so he developed uh, his skill in the force by using his, his mind to move objects. Uh, a, a level of skill that Ahsoka... Uh, obviously at this point uh, has not been able to is not able to do so uh, she needs to use her hands to to use the force um, but perhaps later on she will uh, uh, develop the ability to just m simply move objects with her mind but I think that's another level of the force that you have to reach um, and obviously in Empire Strikes Back Vader was at that particular level where he can move stuff with his mind and not just wave his hands around all the time so um quick just a little rant there or or uh i, I just wanted to mention that because that was the, the thing that hit my mind when i saw that uh there you know my thought was well why couldn't she use her force uh, use the force before then um uh when we've seen vader uh use the force without having to use, to use the hand gesture so um just a little tidbit there guys so um the girls are uh, able to escape. They're followed by the Mandalorians. The Mandalorians uh, track them all the way back to Coruscant. And then we get the uh, meeting with Bo-Katan and uh, Ahsoka. And they're discussing uh, their common enemy, who is Maul. Maul. Now, uh, obviously, the, uh, the big bang in this particular episode, or the big uh, deal in this particular episode, obviously, is Maul. Uh, he is the uh, leader of a, a crime syndicate. Uh, uh, obviously, and uh, he's got all of these little factions under his uh, thumbnail. Uh, he threatens, he's he's pitting them against each other uh, using uh, Crimson, Crimson Dawn action that can come in and take uh, over the Pike's operation, which obviously may uh, take place now that, now that Ahsoka's basically destroyed their operations with uh, all of the explosions and, and explosives that she set uh, around their facility there. Um, so, uh, very very cool stuff and and obviously this connects to solo uh because we know from this particular point uh, uh on into uh in the into the events of solo uh that maul has uh been uh the leader of these uh, particular operations and um it's really cool to have that connective tissue between uh some of the films and uh also uh uh, some of the uh, television series, which uh, brings a lot of significance to Solo and uh, could also, uh, if you believe some of the theories that uh, Disney Plus may plan to do a spinoff series uh, from Solo or maybe uh, we'll get Solo 2 uh, on Disney Plus. I don't know what, what their plans are, but um, that may involve uh, 
Darth Maul. Uh, some really, really good stuff out of this particular episode. And and uh, if you're into all of the content and you're watching all the movies and and um, I, I don't read all of the books, like I haven't read the Ahsoka book, um, which is really interesting, but I would really be interested to know uh, if there are any connections in this particular episode and uh, with the Ahsoka book, uh, especially as it, it, it concerns Trace and Rafa. And the reason why I say that is because there's uh, two... Uh, aspects of this particular episode that make me believe that Rafa and uh, Trace are going to end up coming back in Ahsoka's life at some point. And um, maybe it's a story that's yet to be told uh, that's in between the events of uh, Ahsoka uh, becoming, uh, between these events here and uh, Ahsoka uh, becoming Fulcrum. Um, but uh, first, the first thing is that Ahsoka left her, her bike with the uh, girls on Coruscant. Um, so that's the first thing there. Um, now, it, it could mean nothing, uh, but I, I they went out of their way to let us know that uh, Ahsoka left a piece of property with them. Uh, now, we know Jedi don't value property or any, anything like that, but Ahsoka is not a Jedi, and I think she feels a connection with these two uh, particular girls. Uh, the other thing is those two girls stole Spice from that that king uh, that we saw on uh, Kessel, and we didn't actually see the king. Uh, he hasn't been revealed to us yet, um, but we know that that is uh, his spice, and they stole that spice from from him just now. And that may land the girls in a little bit of trouble that Ahsoka may need to come back around and rescue those two girls from, um, or, or at the very least, they may call on her, knowing that she is a Jedi and she is willing to help. Um, they, they they've they've kind of um, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say that uh, Ahsoka, one, helped them change their mind about the Jedi, but they, what they see in Ahsoka is the type of Jedi uh, that they've always believed in and, and always thought that the Jedi should be. And um, uh, that just reinforces the, re reinforces the fact that they really trust Ahsoka and they may call on Ahsoka again if they get into any trouble. And we know definitely that these two sisters are probably going to get into some trouble. Um, so uh, really cool stuff with this particular episode. And I really, really did enjoy this episode as well as this whole arc um, as well, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and score this episode and I'm going to give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Um, a really great episode. I love the reveal of Maul uh, and the, the and reinforcing the fact uh, if you didn't watch Solo or you didn't know, um, it it, it uh, exposes the fact that Maul is now over all of these uh, syndicates and uh, he has uh, taken over uh, Malachor as well. Um, and uh, even th this is unknown to even uh, Ahsoka, uh, but she finds this out. Uh, during her little escapade, uh, 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 during her little adventure through the uh, Pike facility, she was able to access their uh, computer and all of their information. So, um, and then she also witnessed this conversation with Maul as well. And that's another thing that I wanted to uh, mention as well. Um, Maul also seemed to sense that Ahsoka was there or there was the, the presence of a Jedi there at the Pike facility. Uh, he seemed to sense that. Now, we didn't um, get any clear indication of that, but I just kind of felt as though Maul felt a presence uh, at that facility and uh, may have figured that they, they're probably already um, screwed um, uh, as it is. So uh, he went about his, his business and told them to, to make sure that they delivered, delivered that spice. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Maul knows that he's not going to be able to count on that, that spice from the uh, pikes there. So... Um, Again, really good stuff, guys. I scored this an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I thought it was an excellent episode. I thought uh, this whole particular arc uh, was a great look into the mindset of Ahsoka going forward and uh, who she's going to become. Um, and uh, again, spoiler alert, if uh, any of you guys have not uh, seen Rebels or uh, any information about Ahsoka going forward, uh, but she will go on to become Fulcrum. Uh, she will uh, obviously go on to fight uh, Vader, uh, and during that fight, she will profess that she is not a Jedi, and um, uh, now we kind of get an idea of uh, the mindset that uh, kind of put her in that position where uh, she considered herself not quite a Jedi anymore, um, and, and I'm sure the Ahsoka novel 
uh, that came out. Uh, again, I did not read that novel, and I, I probably should um, because Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters. Um, but I'm sure this uh, little uh, look into uh, some of the things that are kind of shaping uh, Ahsoka's mindset uh, will kind of leads into that book really, really well. Um, I, again, I haven't read it, but I've heard some really good things about that particular book, but I'm sure, uh, this particular episode, th this particular arc, uh, will go, uh, w will, uh, explain the, 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 uh, mindset of Ahsoka, uh, going forward from this particular point, uh, as it leads into that particular book. Um, so it might be a good time to, uh, read that book. Uh, for any of you fans out there, and of course for myself as well, guys. So um, again, I thought this was an excellent episode. Really enjoyed it. Uh, 8.5 scored for this particular episode. Now we are getting into the Malachor arc, guys, and we only have four episodes left. So this is going to be a four-part arc uh, to end off the Clone Wars, guys. Uh, this is going to be it, and uh, we're going to uh, see yes. Siege on Malachor. Uh, we they obviously as what was teased in the uh, trailer and spoiler if you have not seen the uh, season trailer um, We're going to get a face-off between Ahsoka and Maul uh, This was also mentioned in Rebels as well Re uh, Maul referenced their uh, battle on Malachor in uh, Rebels uh, as well, so um, Really interesting stuff and I think uh, the episodes for those of you who weren't really feeling this particular arc uh I think you'll be very much satisfied for what comes next. I think this was a pretty good setup uh, for that. Uh, and, and that's obviously what uh, another big part of what this arc was about as well. It was to uh, not only set up the relationship between Ahsoka uh, and these two girls, who, again, I think are going to come back uh, into play at some point. Maybe not in this series, but at some point later down the line, I, I think these two girls are going to come back into Ahsoka's life and, and, and be a big part of it. Um, depending on what that situation is, but they've also set up a, a need uh, that the girls may have for Ahsoka's help uh, with the fact that they stole that spice to, to, to help her out. So she's going to feel obligated to come back and help them if they get in, in any trouble behind that spice. So I really believe that those two girls are going to uh, factor in uh, to the story as well, guys. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Did you uh, enjoy this arc or was it uh, not quite what you were looking for out of the uh, last season uh, of the uh, series with only 12 episodes. Uh, did you think that this was kind of a low uh, with uh, the uh, four uh, episode arc here? Or did you, like myself, see uh, a lot of setup in this particular arc, not only for Ahsoka and her mindset going forward, uh, but we also got the setup for Malachor, uh, the Siege of Malachor as well. And then, um, uh, of course, it also introduces us to these two girls, which, again, I think are going to factor into a, uh, Ahsoka's life, whether it be in a, a novel uh, or uh, some other uh, reference or some other media of Star Wars where Ahsoka is involved. Um, I, I believe these two girls are going to factor back into her life again, guys. So um, let me know what your thoughts are about all of that, guys. Put those comments down below. And then also, if you are new to the channel, if this is the first time that you're checking out my reaction, guys, I do reactions to uh, not only Clone Wars, but I will be doing reactions to Mandalore Season 2. Uh, I did uh, reactions to Season 1, and you can check all of that out on my playlist, uh, guys, if you want to go back and look at all of that. And then, of course... Um, I also do toy reviews. Uh, I collect uh, the uh, six inch black series, the uh, three and a quarter size and all of the vehicles from the Hasbro line, uh, guys. So uh, if you're into uh, collecting and, and toy reviews and things of that, you definitely want to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you get alerts when I upload any of my videos, especially my reactions uh, such as this, guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the Father to the Son to the Obi-Wan Force Ghost, may the Force be with you always.